Hey everybody, welcome to Hockey Skate Down. Before we get into the video, I just want to say thank you to all my subscribers. If you want to join our hockey team, it's free. Click subscribe, hit the notification bell to all. Thank you all so much, and let's get started. I want to do a video on what we saw going around social media yesterday with assistant GM Dan McKinnon of the New Jersey Devils talking about the future of prospects we're looking forward to seeing in a Devils jersey one day, especially Luke Hughes, Arsini Gritsyuk, and Shakir Mukhamadoula. So I want to do a video on them, talking about them in this video, so please stay with me throughout. So I know the one everybody's looking forward to hearing about is uh, defenseman Luke Hughes. He was a 2021 first-round pick, fourth overall. He's the brother of our superstar Jack Hughes. So we're looking forward to seeing what he's going to be like when he uh, becomes an, uh, a devil. Uh, so his devil's assistant GM, Dan McKinnon, uh, said that, well, he confirmed to Ryan Novazinski that the plan is for Luke Hughes to turn pro once his season at Michigan comes to an end. The plan is for him to turn pro, come to New Jersey, and I think it will be a day-to-day, week-to-week thing from there. We'll see how he hits the ground running and how he fits in. Uh, Hughes uh, went on to say that, um, I try to watch the Devils every game. You know, he says he, he watches around 75 to 80% of them, you know, because he, he has his own collegiate career to uh, consider too, with practices and games as well. So he says he's really focusing on their D-zone, how they play, how fast they transition the puck, and how hard they are in the D zone. So looking at um, what he's done this year, uh, he has uh, in 2022-2023 playing for the University of Michigan, 26 games played, 8 goals, 22 assists, 30 points. And yesterday he had a 4-goal game. So um, yeah, he's looking really good. I know he started the season off a bit slow. But he's been picking it up, especially with some of the some of the players that were on the team last year. They were loaded, but a lot of them went to turn pro. He elected to stay back and play another year. But, you know, he's really turning it around in the last, I'd say, like 10 to 15 games. He's really turned everything around. He's playing sensational. So, you know, looking at especially what he did last year in 2021-2022, 17 goals, 22 assists, 39 points in 41 games. He broke the freshman record for points at 33. He broke a 45-year Michigan program uh, record for freshman defenseman in goals with 14. So, you know, I can't wait to see what Luke Hughes is going to look like in a Devils jersey. You know, you can only think he's going to be as as good as uh, the skating ability, moving the puck, hockey sense, you know, as his brothers are. And Quinn Hughes playing for the Vancouver Canucks, he's just great. He's awesome. He's awesome to watch from the back end, the way he could really uh, just transition the game up the ice. The way he's turned the season around, scoring some goals now too. But, you know, he's just a sensational defenseman. Jack Hughes is turning into a superstar for us. So I can't even imagine what Luke Hughes is going to be like for the Devils. You know, watching him play for uh, USA, uh, watching him play for Michigan, he looks awesome. The way he can transition the puck up the ice, the way he can skate with the puck up the ice, he's he just he just does it so effortlessly. And... You know, the way he could find people the open ice, in open ice, the way he can score these beautiful goals that we've seen from time to time. You know, he's just got it all. And, you know, he's just got to come play with the game, with the team and see how he can transition, how he can feel comfortable and transition his game from the collegiate level to turn pro. So I have no doubt he's going to be a star, um, a star defenseman for us. You know, just question is, what's going to happen when he gets into the lineup? Who comes out? Because, you know, the Devils have... A good six right now and we got capable seven defensemen that could come in so I'm curious to see when Luke Hughes comes in who comes out so definitely something to consider as these months go on uh, the 22-23 NCAA season officially ends on April 8th of 2023 so we got a couple of months to uh, you know hear what's going to happen with the rest of his co collegiate year and um, you know how he transitions to the NHL so Definitely keep an eye out. I'm, I'm sure every Devils fan is salivating, waiting to see him on the ice. So keep an eye on that. Uh, the next one I want to talk about is Arsini Gritsyuk. Uh, Dan McKinnon said he will likely stay in the KHL in order to develop his scoring abilities and become an instant impact player. He also said when he comes when he comes to the NHL, uh, he said like Kirill Kaprizov, like Andre Kuzmenko, uh, sometimes it's better to mature in the, playing over there in the KHL then step right into the NHL. Uh, looking at his stats this year, uh, 55 games played, 12 goals, 21 assists, 33 points. Again, he, he's another one that started off slowly, but as the year went on, he really started to compile some points. And last year was his really breakout year in 2021, 2022. 
He had in 39 games played 16 goals, 12 assists, 38 points, and he won the KHL Rookie of the Year. So uh, Gritsyuk is 21 years old. He's a fifth round 2019 draft pick of the Devils, and uh, you know he plays wing. He's a left shot uh, winger. So um, you know with him, I'm curious to see what happens with Gritsyuk. I know with the Devils, uh, really. They're in the rumor mill to make a big trade for this leading up to this NHL trade deadline. And you're kind of considering some prospects that may include maybe trade bait. And, um, you know, I don't see Gritsyuk's name being mentioned, but you never know. If the Devils want to allude to hold on to other certain players, they may have to include another top prospect where it could be Gritsyuk, but I don't think so. But we'll have to wait and see. Um, you know, to get something good, you're going to have to give up something good too. So. We'll see what happens with Gritsyuk. Can he make an instant impact like these players mentioned in um, the article? Kirill Kaprizov and um, Kuzmenko. Can he step right into the NHL and make an instant impact? We'll have to wait and see. But um, definitely keep an ear out for Gritsyuk. He's been playing really well over in the KHL and definitely uh, scoring some praise uh, amongst you know NHL scouts and the Devils organization. Uh, the next one, Shakir Mukhamadoulin. Uh, 2020 First round pick, uh, 20th overall, defenseman, 21 years old, 6'3", 194 pounds. So with him, we didn't expect the Devils to draft him. Definitely uh, Fitzgerald off the board pick. But, um, you know, as time has went on and you read more about him and you watch certain clips, uh, he's he's got some tools to really be an impact uh, defenseman in the near future. So, you know, Dan McKinnon said that he's definitely coming over here. Uh, when the KHL season wraps up, he signed already. The plan is to get him to Utica, hopefully go on a nice playoff run. We're excited about him. Watched video on all the games. Um, and ex-Devil, uh, Sergei Nemchinov, who's the Devil's scout, was reporting to Fitzgerald on him. And the way they ended the article, we expect big things and from him to be an impact guy right away. So... You know, with the Devils, when they drafted him, they liked his size. His uh, size. They liked his skating. They liked his two-way ability. Um, they liked that he could definitely make an argument for a top four defenseman in the near future with the way he's able to skate the puck, the way he's able to shoot it, um, the way he's got his reach. He's a big guy. If he can grow into his body, he can definitely be uh, an impact uh, player in the future. So we'll have to wait and see. But, you know, he's got a huge, huge shot uh, from the point off the pass. Um, could play power play, and you know he's got the offensive mindset to make things happen out there. He's got the uh, the mindset to read a play and see where it goes, and you know make some decisions from there. So I like what I've seen with clips of him. I'm curious to see what happens to him. But looking at his stats in this year, 2022, 2023, 55 games played, five goals, 15 assists, 20 points. Um, last year, 2021, 2022. Uh, 34 games played, three goals, four assists, seven points. So he's not the most offensive-minded, but you know the way he's able to play a well-rounded defensive game is what suits him. His reach, his size. If he could grow a cup, if he could add some weight and play in the NHL, who knows what the future holds for Muka Madulin? But with him too, is his name being involved in trade rumors? You know, again, if the Devils are looking to get something good at this trade deadline, they're going to have to give up something good. So with the Devils' future right now. Locked into certain players, you know, you have Hughes coming in, you have Shimon Nemitz coming in, you have Hamilton for signed on for years, you have Siegenthaler who just recently signed on for uh, a five year contract, you have Marino has some term, um, you have your defensemen the way they're looking right now. And with Muka Madulin, you know, he's gonna play in Utica, but is he gonna be where it's gonna be hard for him to crack the Devils roster and eventually be moved to somewhere? So you know, can his name be included in a trade leading up to this trade deadline? We'll have to wait wait and see. But, um, you know, it's definitely awesome to hear about these three players. I was curious to hear what's going to happen, especially with Muka Madulin. Um, You heard him telling uh, when he was doing his interviews that he's looking forward to coming to play for the Devils once his contract is over. He's not re-signing a contract. He's definitely coming to, uh, you know, North America to play. So we'll have to wait and see what happens with this. Definitely curious. Uh, he was off the board pick that... I'm sure a lot of Devils fans were curious to see something about him, but Fitzgerald talked very highly of him, and they like his future projection. So we'll have to wait and see. But comment below what you think about this. What do you think of Luke Hughes coming to play in a couple of months? What do you think about Gritsyuk playing over in the KHL? What do you think about Mukamandulin coming to play for the Utica Comets? Comment below and let me know. 
Thank you all for watching. I really appreciate your time. Smash that like button if you haven't done so. And subscribe to the Hockey Skate Down. It's free. And join our hockey team. Thank you all so much. Have a great rest of the day. Have a great night. Take it easy. Stay safe.